Hello, and welcome to our demonstration of ExamView Duo X-ray acquisition software. We're very proud of the work we've done on developing the software to be as easy to use and learn as possible while still having the full features you need for your practice. When you first start the software, you will see the screen that you're seeing now. This is the login screen where you will log in as a technologist or an admin. You can have as many technologists registered at your access station as you want, and it will track who is taking what x-rays and what rejections, deletions, and sends for future analysis. You can also log in as an admin to be have access to changing the settings and other options in the software. When you log in, your first thing you'll see will be the work list. Here, if you are connected to a practice management system, it will show you all of your patients and their scheduled x-rays already laid out for you to take. On the other hand, you can also register your patients at the acquisition station as they come in, simply by clicking on the new button on the right and then entering the patient information. The software remembers your previous patients, and if you enter one that you have done before, it will look up those previous ones, and you can it will simply fill in the information for you when you select them. You can also search by the first name of the patient and the first name of the owner. I'll create a new patient here. Just fill in the required information, which is the first name, the sex, and then select the date of birth, either by typing it out or looking in a calendar. It will automatically calculate the age for you. And then you select the species and the breed of the animal. You can also put in a chip number and accession number and can select what institution you're taking the x-rays at. If you are going between multiple locations, you can have multiple institutions. Or if you're having patients sent to you from multiple different practices. Click Next, and we'll go to the Study Information screen. Here, you will select exactly what x-rays you're going to take. You can simply select from the picture of the animal, the general area, and then select the x-rays you're, you're planning to take. I'll select a right lateral thorax, a right lateral v, um, abdomen, and a VD abdomen. You can also create preset exams. These are exams where when you click on a single button, it will fill in multiple x-rays for you, so you don't have to go and enter repeatedly your most common exams. As you can see here, it created two femurs and scapula things for a exam that would be think somebody might have gotten into an accident. You can move them around. You can delete unwanted ones. And when you and you want to do this because you want to have all of your planned x-rays in the exact order you're planning to do them. That will make life easier for you when you go and click exam and start your actual x-rays. Once you've clicked exam, it will connect to your detector and will be waiting for your detector to present the images. You do not need to select anything for it to detect when you've taken an x-ray. If everything goes correctly, you could, from this point forward, not touch the software again. When you take the x-ray, it will automatically display it to you for you to review and move on to the next x-ray so that you could take it. You will see in a moment that it will give me the option to reject or keep this x-ray. You can also simply ignore this and move on without needing to redo it. Okay. Now, if you need, want to know, aren't sure exactly what technique you should use or how to position the animal, you can double click on an upcoming x-ray and it will bring up 
the positioning guide, and the technique chart for that body part. This will show you exactly how to position the animal, what your x-ray should look like when it's done, and will give you the suggested technique for small, medium, large, or extra large animals of that species. You do not need to close this. Simply taking your x-ray will make it move on to, to actually make the shot and show you what you've taken. You can at any time also go back and retake an earlier x-ray just by right-clicking on the thumbnail on the left, and it will let you select to reject, retake it, and other options for it. While you're taking the x-rays, you'll have access to the full suite of tools in ExamView Duo. On the right is the toolbar. Here, it will present to you a large number of tools, and you can personalize it to show you exactly the tools that you are looking for. Many practices will not need every tool, and so you can go and look and just pull out the ones that are most useful for your practice. Useful tools that are commonly used <coughs> would be things like free rotation, if you're going to be doing stitching, which is also included in our software. The region of interest window level, which will let you window level to a specific area you care most about if you wish to emphasize, say, the window level in the guts and take a good look at that area and increase the contrast to the best possible there at the cost of the appearance of some of the rest of the image. And then you can return at any time to the automatic one that the software thinks is the best. Okay. You can also, we also have available at different angles, lines, and drawing tools, and specialized tools for the veterinarian and the specialist equine doctor. Which tools are available will depend on which version of the software you have installed. Here in the veterinary one, as you can see, we have a large number of different tools to evaluate the image and to automate some calculations. For instance, the people heart score, or the liver size. Every one of these on the left will show you exactly how to use the tool and how you should, what it is for and how, and a short um, description on how to interpret it. There'll be a blinking dot on the picture up in the top left. They'll show you where your next click should be. And then a just written description below that of exactly where you're marking. You can also email directly from the software simply by clicking on the email and that will bring up an in-app email function that will you can connect to your own email server and, dot, and email directly to your customers. When you're all done, you'll close the study. And this will send it to your packs if you have an, if you have it set up to automatically send it to your packs. It will export them as a JPEG if you choose to do that automatically as well. And will bring it to your study list where you can go and see all of your previous x-rays. In the study list, you can simply double click on any study and open up for viewing where you'll have access to all the same tools you had when taking the x-ray. You can also edit the information of the patient. Um, you can delete studies from here. You can import and export studies as DICOM or JPEG. And do a simple reporting on here that can also be emailed or printed. You can look up your past studies simply by week, month, or all, or by more detailed up using the search bar up top. And you can compare images between any number of studies using the compare button. Here, you simply select the image you want to add to it. Now go select any other image from any other study. 
and then go look in the viewer and it will be just, they will be displayed next to each other. When you're all done, you can simply exit or minimize the software using the exit button or the minimize button up top. Thank you for listening and joining us. There are obviously a lot more features in ExamView Duo, and we will be doing additional videos in the future to show you some of those in-depth functions. I hope you've seen how intuitive, easy to learn, and convenient ExamView Duo is for taking, viewing, and sharing your x-rays. If you want more information, please go to our website at www.examviewdigitalxray.com or reach out to your local dealer to ask about ExamView Duo. Thank you.